Hey YouTube, so I'm going to be showing you how to do the corkscrew stitch. So here's a little one, so you can kind of see the colors. And then here's another corkscrew. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this stitch. What you're going to need is you're going to need four strands of boondoggle, three the same length, and one longer piece. So the way, mine are short, but the way I would measure them is the little strands to be one of your arm's length and the bigger, longer strand to be both arm's length. Or you can just double it up like this against your arm. I can't really show you because my camera's set up, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do the stitch. So take your one strand, meet it in the middle, place it like this on your finger. What you're going to do is you're going to make your loop. So you're going to go over, and you're going to go over. And this, you're going to create something like this, a tail and a loop. So if you've seen my other videos, I show you guys how to do this. Um, so meet your next strand, you're going to meet your center, put it on your finger like this, hold it in place. You're going to put this over, and you're going to put this over to make this uh, tail loop, tail loop. Okay. You're going to grab your other strand. Here, let me kind of uh, move this a little bit up. Oop, right, I'm just going <laughs> to... Okay, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to get your next strand. You're going to meet its center, put it on your finger, and you're going to do your loop. So over and over, just like this. We'll move it over a little bit for you guys can see. So you have tail, loop, tail, loop, tail, loop. Okay, that's what you start with. I'm going to get your longer piece. And I'm going to try and show you the best as possible. You're going to go under all these strands. If, I, if it'll let me. Jeez, okay. Um, I'll try and show you. Go under all these strands. Then you're going to grab that the other side of the long strand, meet the two ends, and you're going to kind of pull slightly up, but not too like far, just to meet the middle. Okay, make sure you keep fixing your boondoggle if it's messed up. Okay, so here you are. You're going to get your long strand. Now the way you do this, I probably didn't explain it really good in my other video, much my super big video, but um, maybe in my square video or my brick video I sh told you guys this um, so the strand that's uh, that's the tail so right here's the tail the pink one and then this is my string you're gonna go with the long piece on this side that has the tail never do it with the loop because it'll make you uh, guys confused so take your long strand over oops okay, right. over the tail under the loop so this pink one Okay, let me get the black, it's going under the black, okay, there we go, so just like this, let me show you with the black, I'm going to open it a little bit, over the tail, the black tail, under the loop, you can kind of see that, there we go, I don't know if you guys saw that, and I'll show you with the blue, maybe a little bit closer up, kind of separate this, over the tail, so here we go, over the tail, under the loop, just like that. Now, if you watched the Super Break video, you probably already know this and you probably already did the stitch, but just want to show you how to start it because, you know, this is the video of how to do the stitch. So I'm going to turn it a little bit more like this. I'm going to get your next long piece. I'm going to go over the blue tail, under the loop. You're gonna go over the black tail, under the loop, over the pink tail, under the loop. And get pull it. So this is your stitch so far. Slowly take it off your finger. Don't rush this step because it could fall apart. And then you're gonna start pulling your stitch together. Okay. Oop, the pink one. And you're gonna pull it. 
There we go. So you have done one stitch. Here, let me just. I feel like. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. So, right here is your stitch. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, since this is the corkscrew stitch, you're gonna be doing something different than straight across. What you're gonna do is take whichever string, top one, bottom one. In my case, I'm gonna be using the top, uh, top one. So instead of like this, uh, going straight across, you're gonna turn the string across this. So in between your other strand that's supposed to go straight across and this blue strand. So here's the loop and the tail. And I go in between that. Okay. Stay over there. Then you're gonna take your next long piece and you're gonna go to the corner just like this, in between this pink and this uh, loop, which in this case is my glow in a dark loop. Just like this. So you see that it's not going straight across like a um, super brick stitches. Just keeping that in mind. Okay? So in this case, you would have started with this strand and went through the loop, but since it is corkscrew, you're gonna go with this strand. So the opposite pink side, you're gonna go over this tail through the loop. So it looks like that. I'm gonna hold my blue noggle in place. So, and you can get your other pink, which would, would have been through the loop already in a regular super brick stitch. So take your strand over, under the loop. Okay, here we go. You're going to take your black strand over this loop, under the tail, because, you know, that's this next black string will lock it, so you go over the tail, under the loop. Sorry if you guys can't see, I'm still working on a setup for my camera. You're going to get your next strand, which is the blue. You're going to go over this loop, under the tail. Or you can just think of over, under, over, under, if it confuses you. Then you're going to take your last strand, you're going to go over the tail, under the blue strand. Under the blue, uh, glow arc. Sorry about that. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and pull this stitch together. Pull it tight. That is one stitch of the corkscrew project. Wood knuckle. We're gonna, I'm going to do it. Probably one or two more for you guys. It just depends. I'm gonna do the same stitch again. So don't go across like you would. You're gonna go in between the glow dark and the blue, or whatever color you have here. Okay. I'm gonna go across. So I'll take your pink. In my case, my pink color. I'm gonna take this pink and go over, under. Take my next color, which is black, over this loop under the tail. Take this next color, which is my or one black, go over the tail under the loop. Take this next color, blue, over the loop under the tail. Oops. Over the loop under the tail. Okay, hold it in place because it might fall apart. Next blue, or my last blue, over, under. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this together. Okay. There we go. So now you're gonna see that it's starting to do like this weird stitch, unlike the straight across, like straight uh, super brick. To kind of see that it's starting to turn. See from the bottom. I'm going to do one more stitch for you guys, and I'm going to let you guys finish this on your own. So, cross. I'm going to do this a little quicker because, you know, you know how I am. If you've seen my other videos, probably. Pink over under. This pink strand over under. Put 
to the side. Black strand over under. Next black strand over under. Blue strand over under. Sorry if the boonong is a little all over the place. I'm trying to show you still a little bit. Over the tail, under the loop. Okay. Pull this tight. And you are starting off the spoon nozzle project. So keep doing more stitches and it'll start to tw uh, turn. And I might do like an ending video, I'm not sure. I'm gonna not finish these projects so I can show you how to end them. Because there is a stitch, an ending stitch for each um, spoon nozzle project. So this is the ending stitch, basically. Or if you want, you can burn the ends like I did with this one. I don't think I'm going to show you how to burn the ends, but if you guys want me to, I can show it to you guys because I do have a lighter. But if you are a younger, um, if you're a younger kid um, and you are not allowed to use a lighter or anything harmful, like obviously because you're younger, um, ask your parent, or you could also ask like your grandma or maybe you have a older sibling, preferably in high school, preferably, or if you're allowed to use a lighter, then good for you. Um, just let me know if you want that video and I'll show you how to do it, okay? So I hope this was helpful. Um, you guys, a couple stitches. If you keep doing it, it'll start to do that beautiful twirl. So this project just takes a couple stitches to get, you know, to get awesome, this awesome Okay, hope you guys like this. Let me know down in the script or down in the comments what you want to see next. But if not, I'll just figure out um, the next Boonoggle project. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we're going step by step. And if you have not watched my other videos, go ahead and go to my channel, click on my playlists, and there is a playlist I made for you guys to go ahead and look at the other videos I've done in the past, so the last two years. You guys, go ahead and check that out, and check out my projects. There's like the combos video, there are more advanced video, simple projects I've done, and you can pick something from there that you want to see. So I hope you guys have a good day, hopefully this helped, let me know if it didn't, and talk to you guys later, bye!